Hi, welcome to our video on Praxis 2, right? Oops, Praxis, Praxis 2, 0061. This is a math content test, and one of the categories is called measurement. And this could encompass a lot of problems. I wanted to share some problems that confuse me and I think are a little frustrating, but, but are important to think about, at least in terms of what they're testing. So this first problem I'm going to read and write some key points. So it says, using a digital thermometer every morning at 8 a.m. for five days, all right, so 8 a.m. for five days, a scientist measures the temperature in degrees, excuse me, I'll say that again, a scientist measures the temperature in degrees Celsius of a lake. The temperature readings are 10.6 degrees, 9.2 degrees, 9.1 degrees, and 10.8 degrees, and, oh, and 10.3 degrees. Before the temperature measurements are numerically summarized, the scientist discovers that the digital thermometer used is off. It's off by 0.7 degrees. Which of the following is a true statement that can be made about the scientist's data? Well, I would say do the measurements again, right? Because it's off by 0.7 degrees. But they give us four options here. A says the data are unreliable. There's the key word, unreliable. B, the data are imprecise. C, the data are inconclusive inconclusive. And D, the data are inaccurate. So the answer here is that, that this data is inaccurate, right? Because why? Well, it's, it's not the actual values. And what's confusing and, and really difficult here, and I think it's frustrating, is we're looking at synonyms pretty much. Um, unreliable, imprecise, inconclusive, inclusive, and inaccurate. Uh, the one I can clearly see that's not the case is inconclusive, right? If, because the data is always off by 0.7 degrees, um, you can either add 0.7 or take 0.7 away from all these values, right? In other words, you can say that you can make conclusions about these data, this data. Even though 10.3, for example, is, is off by 7 degree, 0.7 degrees and so is 10.8, you know that they're off by the same amount. So you can say stuff. You can say 10.3 is lower than 10.8. So maybe the the temperature of that lake was lower for that day. And imprecise, well, that was my first choice, actually. I, I looked at this problem and I thought, well, imprecise is, is definitely the answer here. But in fact, if we, if we look at, I guess, the official definition, according to them, of what imprecise means, it says it refers to the degree to which a measurement is imprecise no, imprecise refers to when a measurement is repeatable and reliable. So that's, that's a little, I guess, confusing because here we have a thermometer and we're repeating the temperature measurements over and over again. So in a way, it is repeatable, right, because we're always making the same error. So that's, and that's, that's tough, I guess. <laughs> and I feel like we could definitely argue this one. And unreliable, is it unreliable? Well, yeah, in a sense it is, um, but reliability, in terms of data, how do they define that? Um, sorry, so I'm having a hard time with this question. I guess what their argument is is that, well, they're reliably inaccurate. In other words, they're all 0.7 degrees off, so you can rely on them being all the same amount off. So in a sense, they are reliable. Anyway, I. I have a tough time with this question, and I hope I didn't just confuse you and talk you in circles. But inaccurate is, I guess, the clearest representation of the answer to this problem. And then another interesting problem that, that confused me at first was that it's about this pharmacist, and he measures the mass of the medical substance and, and uses the appropriate number of significant figures to record the mass as seven grams. So he weighs, he weighs the mass as seven grams. He's attempting to measure to the nearest gram. It says, which of the following ways most accurately expresses the range 
of possible values of the mass of the substance. Okay, so they give us four choices here. Seven grams plus or minus one gram. Right, oops, one gram. Yeah. And then B says seven grams, ah, laggy, seven grams plus or minus 0.5 grams. C says seven grams oops, plus or minus 0.1 grams. And D says seven grams. Okay, well, I guess D is out because D says it's completely accurate at seven grams and that's not gonna be the case. And A is out as well because if we're gonna round up or down to one gram, we're only looking at grams, that's a really huge range and it's a little absurd. At first I was tempted to say 0.1, but the, the standard of which we're looking at this rounding process in terms of the range of possible values is one half of the lowest digit value. So here our lowest our lowest digit value is the units place, it's the ones place. So half of that is one half, so that, that, that's our range, plus or minus one half. Um, and in fact, that's, that's choice B. So C is out, that's, that's too narrow of a range. And I think this will always work. I guess this is, this is usually written as the maximum possible error, acceptable error. And you could say it as well, you could say it as half the magnitude of the smallest measurement unit uh, in your in your in your measurement. So if it was 1.52, and you want to find the range, you take half of the hundredth place, and you add or subtract, right, hundredths. Oops, hundredths, like that. I think that's right. So half of the hundredth place. Oh, excuse me, zero five, because here the hundredth place, the hundredth value is 0 0.01, half of that is 0 0.005.